Nine years. In Vancouver, women have been marching for 23 years. We come to police headquarters because we understand that the police are complicit in the, in the violence. We do not expect the police to help us with this. We are actually here to say that your days are numbered. Canada's days are numbered. We are getting stronger every day. Look how many people are out here. We were 150 people when we started coming here. We are building new relationships and we are going to create a new way of governing this land according to indigenous tra traditional protocol. So we've never been idle. We have resisted colonization and genocide. We've been in a long period of deep crisis, but we are healing and we are getting stronger. Since we came here last, we are so sad and heartbroken to say that three young, beautiful women have been killed since last February 14th, right here in the city of Toronto. Cheyenne Fox, Tara Gardner, Bella Laboukan McLean. Your spirits live on. We know that you are with us today. And we are so sad for your family members. We know that their lives have been shattered forever. And we do what we can to support them and to hold them up. So we ask you all to join us in the ceremony now with Wanda Whitebird. We need Sema. Where are the tobacco ties? Can the volunteers could please bring the tobacco ties. Uh, so people, people with the uh, Tara Gardner and uh, Lubicon signs, if you could bring those signs up. <laughs> All right, boys out. Nani Mede Nagapre Nagistika is much better than. My name is Dan Star. I come from the Bear Clan. I'm a member of the Mi'kmaq First Nation and the territory I come from is a little place called Button Deck, which is about 19 miles outside of Anna, near Chino, Nova Scotia. Yay! <laughs> Although I live and work here now in the territories of the Mississaugas of New Credit, whose land we are on today. About nine years ago, we gathered as women in a, in a collective called No More Silence. And we wanted to do something that was meaningful and loving. And what we're going to do is a strawberry and a water ceremony. This is going to be ceremonial ground while we're here. And so we asked for kind words, lots of love and respect with each other. And that today we come to remember all of those women who have been murdered and missing, who have been violent, violent deaths. You know, all of those who've died from the results of colonization. And uh, we wanted it to be women, who women-led, <laughs> and a support by our men behind us or with us. And today is Valentine's Day. It's a day of love. And so we appreciate all of the men who've come out to support us and stand behind us because we need you to hold us up when we can't stand up any longer. You know, so we didn't want to not include anyone, that's just where we're coming from for today. And so we appreciate that you respect that. And so we've handed out water and strawberries, and so we hopefully we got everybody. Um, and don't eat your strawberry. And don't drink your water. <laughs> so if you don't have a strawberry and you don't have some water, like, do this so we can make sure over there they need water and the strawberries. Do we have people running them? Water and strawberries over there. We know that the strawberry ceremony is usually done in June <laughs> and so it's not that we're early. It's that a way we're going to be celebrating with the strawberries and thanks to California or those warm places, we have some. Big, big berries, Jackie. Wow, this is so amazing that there's so, so many people here. So many beautiful faces I can see with love in their eyes and that's, that's lovely and phenomenal, you know.
So, two, are you guys ready to go? Yeah. yeah. We're here. Do we have the Terra Gardener sign? Do we have the Terra Gardener sign? Someone's asking. Who's, oh, can, can you please bring it, bring it down here for us? Thank you. So we say to the Creator, we say my watch for this day and for another breath of life. We say my watch to the Creator and for the people of this territory that allow us to be on their land. We ask that those women who are gone on to come and join us in this space. But we have not forgotten you, that we put one foot in front of the other because of you. That today is about remembering you, that we're never going to forget, that we honor you in this, in this sacred way. We ask you to fill our hearts, Creator, and ancestors to join us and fill our hearts and minds with kindness, respect, love, and understanding. That within this space there will be all of those things, kind words, respect. That I give you thanks for all of the people who have joined us today in this space. So we're gonna start with an honor song, but I also brought my eagle whistle today, which is a way that we bring in and ask our ancestors to come and join us. Also let us know that we're about to begin something really important. And it lets us know we're about to do something important. And everyone that is here is as important as the person who's next to you. We are on equal ground. begin by singing an honor song that Sue has brought to us about missing. Are you guys ready back there? I can't even hear you. So if anybody's brought drums or shakers, use them. <laughs> 